of all the shuffles, the bounciest is probably kissing your picture. Um, and your solo is like note splattering. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're being polite. <laughs> it's very cool. Yeah. And you have fiddle in this one too, which is also important, yeah. I think, to the sound. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what, what I was thinking. I'm, uh, when I approach uh, playing stuff, stuff like this from this era, I also think of what other players were influential. And, and this is going to sound weird, Buck Trent came to mind huh. mm -hmm. when, I, when I was thinking about that because he was a big part of Porter Wagner stuff, and, but he, you know, the banjo rolling thing. So I just, that's why I went, I thought, well, I'll give this a try thinking that you know as soon as we cut it let's replace that steel player you know let's solo and do something else but it, it's you know i got lucky but yeah it's it's fun but it, the styles it, that's what's so fun about this music it's a uh, the bakersfield and this album is a bridge you know it's for any young musician that if you like playing this stuff okay here's ideas that what could could work you know, but we're also bringing in these other, the way he's phrasing these songs and singing, you know, it's like, it's not, we, you know, I, I don't want to call out names, but there are a lot of singers that had a pretty decent career singing, trying to emulate a George Jones or a Ray Price, but it's important to, to just bring the essence of all of that forward. And that's, that's what I was trying to do. And hopefully we build a bridge for you know, someone to go buy a Ray Price best of and, <laughs> and get into it that way. But I also think there's an equal number of people that love and revere this music that miss it. Yeah. And I feel like there's an element of us sticking up for it in a way, saying we haven't forgotten it. I know our music has changed and it's gone in different directions and it always has. And always you know, will. And always will. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing new, but somebody's, you know, grousing country music's dead. I go, no, it's not. It's just not real popular, the traditional stuff. But it's still very much alive, and mm -hmm. and this this bears that out. You know, this gives life to something that was created 70 years ago.